You've cleaned up your model. Now you're ready for priming. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, I'm Ning Ming and in this video, we're going to prime our model. If you didn't catch the previous video about cleaning up your model, click on the video right here. Now what is priming your model? Basically, adding a paint so it'll be easier for us to colour. Not adding any primers will make it hard for the colours to stick on the model. Getting a primer isn't just going to a store and just getting a spray can like this. It is best to stay away from any spray that has lacquer or gloss. Find the name Primer, Matte or Undercoat. And it's also best to check with the seller. If you can't spray prime your model for some reason such as it is too expensive or I live in an area where spraying is not allowed, they do exist a paint on primer. This one is AK Interactive Black Primer was meant for airbrushing, but you could also use it for painting. My take is just go with your budget, honestly. They are expensive, but it does make your painting easier. Going back to spray, so make sure you do this outside. If you live in a cold place, warm up your spray can with hot water for a bit, and you are ready. You're not really doing this because the temperature is at 36 degrees. Shake thoroughly. Point your model away at around 14 to 15 inches, and then spray at one pump. That way, your model will absorb the primer and it won't be too thick to paint. The primer colors are depending. So far, I use three kinds of colors, black, gray, or white. I will pick black because if I want my model to have such things like the shadow in the inside part is not really too bright, yeah, then black should be a good choice. I will pick gray if I assume I would think that the model is outside and the sun where it's really bright so black colour is not really a good choice. So I'll pick grey. And I'll choose white if I assume I want my colours to be very bright. Or it also could be a reason that I would like to use contrast colours. So white is a good choice. So here comes the fun part, Xenothal Priming. Xenothal Priming is when you combine two primers mostly black and white, where black is the dark shadow area and white is the light. Make sure you prime the black primer first and then angle the white spray at the area where you want the light to be and spray one burst. You don't want to coat everything, put a bit a bit on the lighted area. The other method in Xenothal priming is dry brush. In my opinion, this gives the results that I'm happy with. Make sure your models prime black and then, you will need two colours, grey and white. Use a dry brush, take a bit of a grey, rub away the paint until you reach an amount where it is really dry, and then start brushing the grey on the model. Repeat the same process with the white, but this time, choose the area where the light will appear more. And now, your model is ready. There are many steps when it comes to airbrushing, but I'll show you a simple step first. Once again, make sure you prime your model black. And for this, I'll use white ink from Liquitex. Because it's very thin, and you don't need to put much flow improver. Aim where your model would have light, and start spraying. So here they are. Models are now primed and ready. From here on, you may go wild on the painting. But what is the best way? Well, this one's all up to you. Because it's always fun to play around with the priming and painting and then see which one's the best way. And then you know, it's all up about having fun. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Would you like to see more on miniature painting? Or would you like to see me do sometimes in the future? My name's Omni Ming. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, good luck, and have fun miniature.